Hello everyone, welcome. Now one of the best things about mountain biking is picking and choosing the upgrades you put on your bike. Now some of these may offer performance enhancing benefits, others might not even be worth the cash. So today in this video we're going to take a look at those that aren't maybe worth the money. Right, before we dive into the video, everybody, why not show the channel just a little bit of love by clicking the old subscribe button. And you know what? If you bang the bell as well, you'll get all the notifications as to when the new videos are dropping. First up, though, it's handguards. So unless you are doing some serious bushwhacking or you're an elite level kind of EWS racer whereby you can't lose to snap a lever off or something like that in a crash, handguards I hate to say it, they're probably not worth the money. Yes, they can prevent your controls from being snapped off in a crash, but chances are, if you crash that hard, then you're probably gonna snap the handguard as well. And then in that case, you've got the cost of the lever and the handguard to replace. Yikes, double whammy. Carbon wheels and people. Now, a decent set of aluminium wheels is probably gonna set you around about the 500 mark in your currency. So dollars, pounds, euros, whatever that may be. However, a decent set of carbon wheels is probably gonna double that, if not triple it. And I reckon that that money could be better spent elsewhere. The money you could save on going aluminium over a carbon fancy pants wheel set, it could be better spent on something like a riding holiday, where you could go away and get a load of sick riding in, loads of awesome experiences, get out there with your buddies. Something that you probably wouldn't be able to do if you'd blown the cash on those carbon wheels. Of course, if you're a competitive racer or you're just looking to get the edge over your mates, or hey, you've got the cash to splash, well then why not just go for it anyway? Titanium bolts. I know what you're thinking here, people already. Oh, they're fancy and they look pretty cool. But generally, they're only really used by elite level racers looking to save grams in every single place that they can. And I tell you what, tie bolts ain't cheap. Looking at around two to three quid per bolt, that can soon add up over the course of the entire bike. Are they really worth it though? Well, the weight saving and the performance gains over the entire bike are negligible. Let's be honest, most of us probably aren't going to notice it. So splashing the cash on that, probably not worth it. The rear mech. Now the position of this thing means it is susceptible to damage, bashed, broken, bashed in again, cleaned off by rock, root, Stump, you name it, it is well in the danger zone. So upgrading your rear mech to these real fancy expensive ones might seem like a good idea at the time, but actually with it being so much in the danger zone, the cheaper ones could be a much more viable option. If you've already got a high-end mech on your bike, and unfortunately, like I said, that sneaky stump has cleaned it right off the bike, well then think about, do you really need that fancy pants rear mech put back on? Or could you have a lesser model, which is still gonna shift fine, let's face it. It's not like it's real bad quality or anything like that. It still does the job perfectly good. It just means if you do have to replace it again, it's gonna be a little bit more wallet friendly. I wanna talk ceramics, people. And I'm not talking pottery, no. Our lycra clad friends over at GCN, well, they love a ceramic upgrade in their bearings. It could be things like their bottom brackets or their jockey wheels. And let's face it, if you're looking for those, the marginalist of marginal gains, then there might be something in it. But for the cost, I don't reckon there is. Now our lycra loving special friends over at GCN, well, they swear by ceramic this, ceramic that, bearings, you name it and they will put it all over their bike to get those marginal gains. Like I said, they might get a squillionth of a second up a hill and a watt going somewhere, I don't know. But let's face it, on a mountain bike, is it really gonna make a difference? Probably not. And the harsh conditions that our bikes go through, the grit, the grime, the mud, the dirt, the damp, you name it, well, it's gonna destroy those bearings really quick. So you've got the cost of actually buying these upgrades and then probably swapping them out every year when they get worn out. It's just not worth it. They're mad over there. So there we go then, five upgrades that probably aren't worth the cash on your bike. But hey, I don't wanna let that put you off. And of course, let's just say if you've got the money, well, go for it. I'm not saying you shouldn't. It's just maybe an advisory list. Let's go for that. But look, thank you very much for watching, everybody. This has been an absolute blast. Have you got any more upgrades that you just think aren't worth the cash? Well, if you do, let me know in them comments down below, just down there, go on, pop them in. But until next time, I'm out of here. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you later.